to the Earth uh, uh, station, and it is um, receiving command from um, the Earth. In a celestial revelation that has left the world in awe, Japan has unveiled a groundbreaking lunar discovery that was previously shrouded in secrecy. Its covert mission to the moon has uncovered a mystery, a space anomaly that defies our understanding of the universe. This unexpected revelation challenges the limits of our lunar knowledge, leaving us with more questions than answers. What secrets lie hidden in the lunar shadows? And how will this unexpected discovery reshape our understanding of the cosmos? Join us in this video as we explore this new and shocking discovery that was recently made by Japan on the moon that no one was supposed to see. Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency achieved a major milestone, becoming the fifth nation to successfully land a vehicle on the moon. However, excitement quickly turned to concern when it became evident that something had gone awry. The soft landing was confirmed, but SLIM, the smart lander designed to explore the lunar surface, faced an unexpected power outage. SLIM was a cutting-edge experiment employing modern technology for precise moon landings. Despite telemetry confirming SLIM's spot-on landing, the hitch arose from the solar panels, seemingly incapable of harnessing sunlight. The predicament sparked myriad possibilities, leaving the Japanese ground crew puzzled. Remarkably, SLIM maintained communication with the team on Earth, running on battery power. This resilience fueled confidence that the lander hadn't suffered critical damage during its touchdown. As SLIM continued its mission without direct power from its solar panels, the Japanese team embarked on a journey to troubleshoot the unforeseen issue. The mystery of SLIM's power failure remains a perplexing puzzle, raising questions about the intricacies of lunar exploration and the resilience of modern space technology. What mysteries lie behind the malfunctioning solar panels and how will Japan's space experts navigate this lunar conundrum to unveil the secrets hidden within our celestial neighbour? The saga unfolds as scientists work tirelessly to decode SLIM's unexpected lunar puzzle. Despite knowing that SLIM couldn't sustain power for the full 14-day lunar day as initially planned, the JAXA team didn't let that dampen their spirits. Instead, they dove into conducting as many of the lander's science experiments as possible before conserving the last bit of battery power. This cautious approach aimed to preserve reserves in case the sun's rays from a different angle, namely the western side, could rejuvenate SLIM's solar panels towards the end of the lunar day. It was roughly 1am on January 22nd when SLIM embarked on its meticulous four-month journey to the moon. The journey was a symphony of precision, with SLIM utilising its finely tuned radar and smart navigation systems to hit a landing target within a mere 100 metre margin. Along the way, it deployed two experimental rovers and maximised the use of its onboard science equipment. As SLIM neared the end of its lunar adventure, the JAXA team made strategic decisions. They gracefully shut off its battery, marking the end of its powered mission. Despite the equipment glitch on the lunar surface, JAXA views this landing as a resounding success. The importance of Japan's moon landing echoes beyond the technical hiccup, emphasising the significance of scientific achievement and paving the way for future lunar explorations. The journey might have encountered a few bumps, but Japan's exploration of the moon has become the latest manifestation of our collective ingenuity as a human race and our unyielding curiosity about the cosmos. Japan has showcased an unparalleled feat in space exploration, a remarkably precise and successful soft landing on the moon. Achieving this delicate maneuver has proven difficult for even the most advanced space agencies. Throughout the modern space age, many attempts to touch down on the lunar surface have failed. Interestingly, the 21st century has seen China emerge as the sole country repeatedly successful in lunar landings, but they are not part of our collaborative efforts. Japan, however, has been a steadfast partner with NASA, 
and their recent triumph in lunar landing technology introduces a potential game changer. The innovative Japanese guidance system holds promise as a significant asset for the future of the Artemis program, a joint venture between international space agencies. Yet, amidst these celebratory strides, a pressing mystery looms over SLIM, the lunar lander. While Japan's achievement marks a significant milestone, the current focus is on unraveling the mystery surrounding SLIM's unexpected behavior. What transpired during its mission? And what unforeseen challenges did SLIM encounter on its lunar adventure? As the scientific community collaborates to decode the intricacies of SLIM's journey, the implications stretch beyond national boundaries. The pursuit of lunar exploration continues to captivate the world's imagination, with Japan's recent success and the Artemis program serving as beacons of hope for future celestial endeavours. The quest for answers to SLIM's mystery not only fuels scientific curiosity, but also underscores the inherent challenges and triumphs that accompany our journey into the vast outer space expanse. The intricacies of SLIM reveal a marvel of engineering precision and innovation. Crafted with meticulous attention, its design aimed for a soft touchdown, featuring three D-printed crumple zones in its legs to absorb impact and ensure a gentle landing even at higher speeds. Propelled by two main engines from Mitsubishi and equipped with 12 attitude control thrusters, SLIM embarked on a four-month journey meticulously planned to conserve fuel. However, the tail takes an unexpected turn upon touchdown. The chosen landing spot, the site of an impact crater on a 15 degree slope, was strategically selected to optimize sun exposure for the vehicle's solar panels. To accommodate this slope, the rear legs were crafted shorter and the navigation was programmed to delicately flip the vehicle about 45 degrees upon landing, ensuring a gentle descent on the longer legs. Yet amidst these well-laid plans, something seems amiss. SLIM finds itself facing westward, raising questions about the accuracy of its landing. The challenge lies in the unknown as telemetry data takes time to analyse fully. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency acknowledges that SLIM's panels are oriented westward and that the vehicle functioned optimally until battery power dwindled. The quest for answers hinges on satellite imagery, perhaps from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, to unveil the specifics of SLIM's landing, whether it landed on its side or encountered other unforeseen challenges. Despite the setback with the solar panels, the mission in its entirety demonstrates a groundbreaking achievement. Precision landings of this caliber, measured in meters rather than kilometers, mark uncharted territory in lunar exploration. The disappointment in SLIM's solar orientation emphasizes the complexities of venturing into the unknown, yet it emphasizes the pioneering spirit that propels us forward in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. In a triumphant chapter for Japan's space exploration, SLIM's mission continues to stand as an evidence of precision and innovation. Beyond the unexpected solar setback, the mission achieved significant milestones, including the successful gathering of navigation data useful for future lunar landers. Adding to the success, two lunar excursion vehicles, LEV-1 and L-2, emerged as stars in the space performance. Imagine LEV-1, a frog-like rover gracefully testing a hopping movement pattern tailored for low-gravity environments. Meanwhile, L2, an 8 cm ball with adaptable capabilities, transforms into a wheeled camera and engages in a moving motion similar to sea turtles, showcasing a diverse array of experiments on the lunar terrain. This success marks a pivotal moment for Japan's space agency, JAXA, as it continues to carve a larger niche on the world stage. Already a trusted partner for NASA and the European Space Agency since 2009, JAXA's contributions extend to the International Space Station. Their collaboration goes beyond Earth's orbit, with Japan signing on in 2021 to aid in constructing modules for the Gateway Lunar Station, a project that aligns with their ongoing astronaut training for future crewed missions. 
While fostering international partnerships, JAXA has diligently pursued its missions. SLIM is just a glimpse of their celestial endeavours. The Martian Moons Exploration spacecraft is ready for launch this year, targeting Mars Moons Deimos and Phobos for sample collection. In March of the preceding year, JAXA introduced the H3 rocket, showcasing remarkable capabilities, with the only setback being the second stage's failure to light on command. Persistent, JAXA gears up for its next test flight in mid-February, demonstrating resilience and determination in pushing the boundaries of space exploration. As Japan's cosmic ambitions unfold, it cements its place as a strong force in the quest for unravelling the mysteries of our celestial neighbours. On the dynamic space frontier, the stage is set for a monumental chapter as Blue Origin's huge New Glenn rocket is set to take centre stage. The journey began on January 10th, capturing the attention of space enthusiasts as a massive Blue Origin rocket booster was carefully transported to Launch Complex 36 at the Kennedy Space Center. This giant, known as New Glenn, wasn't just making a routine appearance. It was gearing up for a series of vital tests that could potentially reshape our cosmic capabilities. Photographer Greg Scott, armed with a keen eye and a camera, seized the opportunity to document this momentous occasion. His images and video showcased the 57-metre vehicle's transit from the Blue Origin rocket factory to the launch facility, providing a rare and captivating glimpse into the intricacies of space exploration. A closer examination of the images revealed intriguing details. Markings indicating not for flight adorned sections of the forward fuselage, sparking speculation among enthusiasts. Could this signal a need for replacements in the future? Or is this booster destined for live fire testing? The suspense adds a layer of anticipation to the unfolding narrative. However, the New Glenn's journey didn't end with this first stage. Just a week after Greg's photographic expedition, Blue Origin CEO David Limp offered a tantalising glimpse on LinkedIn. His post featured not only the imposing first stage, but also the upper stage patiently awaiting its turn in the hangar, a strategic tableau of potential that amplifies the excitement surrounding New Glenn's mission. New Glenn, positioned as Blue Origin's heavyweight contender in the lift market, stands at an impressive 98 metres tall. Fueled by seven B4 engines on the reusable first stage and two B3U engines on the second stage, it boasts the capability to thrust a 49-tonne payload to low Earth orbit or a 15-tonne payload into geostationary orbit. As the rocket components made their way to Launch Pad 36, the possibilities of what was row come and the success that could be achieved became even more evident. Wet dress rehearsals and static fires loom on the horizon, promised a spectacle of technological prowess. With ULA's recent success launching the BE-4-powered Vulcan rocket, it's glaring that Blue Origin is confident in the capabilities of these engines when integrated into the New Glenn. Yet, the extent of the vehicle's preparedness remains a captivating mystery. The journey of New Glenn continues to intrigue space experts and enthusiasts alike, promising a future where the vast expanse of space becomes more accessible, thanks to the relentless pursuit of innovation and exploration. In the realm of aerospace secrecy, Blue Origin has adeptly shrouded the development of their groundbreaking heavy lift rocket New Glenn in an atmosphere of mystery. Only recently, in late November, did the veils lift slightly, offering enthusiasts a captivating glimpse of flight hardware, a tangible sign that the rocket is poised for the next phase of rigorous testing. Despite the scarcity of official information, the visible readiness of New Glenn for more intensive testing is already sending ripples of excitement through the aerospace community. The anticipation is justified, given that the maiden flight of New Glenn is slated for August 2024. Aiming for the stars, this inaugural mission carries the weighty responsibility of launching NASA's Escapade Mars mission into the cosmic expanse. The audacity of NASA's trust in New Glenn is notable, considering it's a rocket that has yet to grace the skies. 
Blue Origin, known for its previous suborbital endeavors, is now venturing into the realm of heavy lift rockets, a leap that involves inherent risks. This bold move becomes even more gripping when considering the recent pause of another of the company's rocket New Shepard, which faced a benching following an engine nozzle failure leading to a harrowing launch abort in September 2022. Only in mid-December did it return to the skies with a successful test launch. The narrative is pregnant with the thrill of exploration and the gamble of uncharted territories. The dance between innovation and risk, as Blue Origin readies New Glenn for its inaugural dance with the cosmos, is a testament to the courage and daring spirit propelling humanity's journey into the unknown. As the August 2024 launch date looms, the world watches with bated breath, eager to witness the outcome of NASA's daring trust in a rocket and a company that is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in our quest for interstellar exploration. NASA's confidence in the upcoming New Glenn mission hints at undisclosed test results, sparking curiosity among space enthusiasts. The unveiling of flight hardware for Blue Origin's innovative rocket, eagerly taking shape in the hangar at Launch Complex 36, adds an air of anticipation. As the pieces of this shiny new spacecraft intricately come together, it paints a picture of imminent action and exploration. The meticulous assembly of New Glenn's flight components is a behind-the-scenes spectacle, a ballet of engineering and technology converging for a cosmic performance. In the confines of LC-36, the birthplace of dreams reaching for the stars, the promise of a groundbreaking mission takes tangible form. Each nut, bolt and panel resonates with the potential to propel humanity deeper into the cosmos. The hangar, a vault of aerospace innovation is the stage where the new Glenn will soon step into the spotlight. It's a glimpse into the future, a fusion of aspirations and careful craftsmanship converging to defy the gravitational bounds that have tethered us to Earth for so long. Soon, the curtain will rise and the rest of the world will witness the new Glenn in action. It's not just a rocket. It's a vessel that's poised to embark on a journey that expands our cosmic footprint. The collective breath of anticipation swells as we await the grand reveal, eager to witness the marvels of space exploration unfold before our eyes. The hangar doors, concealing the intricacies of New Glenn's construction, become a portal to a future where the unknown beckons and the universe becomes our playground. In a recent NASA report that surfaced on January 11th, the agency unveiled its latest strides in solar-based space exploration. The report charted out how space-based solar power will transcend the realm of being just a dream into the realm of achievable reality. The study, conducted just last year and unveiled after careful review, delves into the feasibility of setting up solar power collection in Earth's orbit a venture that could commence within the next two decades. This captivating report, held in anticipation for a year, navigates the intricacies of harnessing solar power from the cosmos and beaming it back to Earth using microwaves. It's a concept that ignites the imagination and charts a path toward a cleaner, more sustainable future. The study scrutinizes two conceptual systems, evaluating their potential impact on global emissions and meticulously examines the associated costs, from manufacture to launch. The underlying ambition goes beyond technological prowess. NASA's exploration is tethered to a pressing concern, the urgency to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions. With the widely acknowledged target of 2050 looming on the horizon, the report explores whether space-based solar power could be a pivotal player in the United States quest to meet this crucial environmental deadline. This isn't just a report. It's a glimpse into a future where the cosmos becomes a source of boundless, clean energy. It beckons us to consider a narrative where humanity armed with innovation and determination, reaches beyond our planet to secure a sustainable energy solution. 
As the report paves the way for further discussions, the prospect of space-based solar power becomes a beacon lighting the path towards a greener, more harmonious coexistence with our planet. Imagine a future where we tap into the boundless energy of the sun, not from solar panels on our rooftops, but from satellites orbiting high above Earth, where the atmosphere is almost non-existent. This futuristic vision is not just a dream. It's a solution many space agencies worldwide are actively exploring. The captivating prospect of wirelessly beaming this heavenly energy to the remotest corners of the globe is not just an idea. It's a practical possibility, as a recent NASA report asserts. In this space ballet of technology, from manufacturing to launch and maintenance, the report paints a picture of feasibility. It's like the stage is set, the actors are ready, and the play of collecting solar energy in orbit is about to begin. However, every grand production has its critics, and in this case, NASA itself wears the hat of a skeptic. Yes, the same NASA that authored the report is raising eyebrows, expressing reservations about the method's high cost. Delving into the nitty-gritty of the report released on January 11th, the verdict was that when it comes to pollution from manufacturing these orbital energy systems, there isn't a significant difference compared to traditional ground-based systems. It's a revelation that sparks debate. Should we reach for the stars or stick with what's familiar on solid ground? Now, let's talk numbers. The cost per kilowatt hour for these orbital systems, according to the report, is around 61 cents. Contrast that with terrestrial solar plants churning out energy at about 2 to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Skeptics, however, question whether NASA's assessments are keeping up with the times. They argue that the report might be relying on outdated data, underestimating the cost effectiveness of current space launch technologies. This is where the plot thickens. The report, in essence, aims to spotlight the relative simplicity of constructing space-based solar power systems in our modern era. Yet, it coyly avoids the elephant in the room, the hefty price tag. The discussion, it seems, is shifting from whether we can build these space power plants to how on earth we can fund them. It's a classic tale of technology meeting finance, and the dialogue is just beginning. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.